Hello friends, this video on Hydrogen Part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now dihydrogen is used as a fuel also. As I told the whole chapter, we started, when we started the whole chapter, we told the uh, purpose of dihydrogen as a fuel, H2, not D2 here, is used as fuel. And that is, we'll talk about the fuel economy also. And we'll see that dihydrogen release large quantities of energies on combustion. And if you see this chart, when you compare petrol, and dihydrogen gas, if you see dihydrogen gas and the petrol gas, the per mole combustion is more. So if you see in this case, if you talk about the per gram, in the in case of dihydrogen, it gives 142 or 143 uh, kilojoule of heat depending on the state, but in case of LPG is 50, methane is 53 and gasoline is 47. So if you see in this case, the per gram, if you talk about the per gram, the dihydrogen has a lot more potential. Also, it has a lot of ad advantage. For example, um, the fuel is clean, doesn't pollute much, and all those things. We'll, we'll uh, talk about those advantage. The first thing is, it is abundantly available. The hydrogen we have seen, the like 70% of the whole universe is hydrogen. And hydrogen is uh, one third of the uh, Earth is hydrogen. That way, it is abundantly available. It is pollution free. It gives, just gives water and burns. It is more efficient in coal, petrol and diesel, just we have seen that. And it is an excellent reducing agent and can replace coal in many ways. Also, the coal and diesel is getting uh, replenished, right, or gasoline. They are getting replenished, I mean not replenished, they are getting uh, exhausted. But this is evidently available, it won't get exhausted. So they are, these are the advantage of the dihydrogen as a fuel. The advantage, there are some limitations also, the first limitation is it is highly inflammatory, it burns easily, so it is very difficult to store. The second thing is, uh, the weight is more. It is almost 30 times for the same petrol that, or the gasoline which you need to burn, to run a car, for example, for X meters, you need um, 30 times bigger tank to store the same hydrogen gas because it needs a huge space. Though the, uh, so the mass in gram is less, but the, the density is low, so the space required is more. And if you want to convert into a liquid state by cooling, there's a huge amount of energy required to cool it. And also to maintain the uh, temperature, right, a huge amount of energy is required. So if you, if you just say that, okay, we'll squeeze in. So to squeeze in, we have to uh, decrease the temperature. So there's energy required for this. And also to maintain that uh, state, we have to uh, maintain that less temperature, so that again, energy is required. So that is again expensive. Right, the tanks are expensive and the mechanism to keep it cool is expensive. Also, the platinum catalyst which is used is a little expensive. So, the storage actually is the main concern here now for hydrogen because uh, it is difficult to store. There are some ways now coming up where we are using uh, transitional element, transitional metals. So, they are, uh, in the, they are interstitial hydrides actually in the pores we are able to store hydrogens. Uh, research is still going on but still in the nascent stage. Once uh, things are finalized, we may be able to use hydrogen as potential uh, fuel that can replace gasoline in the future. But currently, we have storage issue with the hydrogen. Storage and transportation issue actually. Okay? And the platinum issue because for this uh, cell, we need platinum. The more platinum is required, the price will go up because of the increase in demand. And then there will be scarcity of platinum. And there is term called hydrogen economy that is nothing but we talk about using hydrogen as a fuel, right? So we talk about using hydrogen as a fuel uh, for hydrogen economy, and this, as I told, right? This system proposed uh, hydrogen as an alternate system, uh, alternate option for uh, coal and uh, petrol. This term was coined by John Bockris, 1970. And the basic principle of this hydrogen economy is the transportation storage of hydrogen because currently creating hydrogen is not an issue in the abundance of hydrogen is too much. We have a lot of hydrogen, but the only problem is the transportation and storage. So the whole focus of this hydrogen economy is currently on transportation and storage of hydrogen in the form of energy, right? And the advantage of hydrogen economy is that energy is transmitted in the form of hydrogen and not as electric power. That is one hydrogen. You don't have to transport uh, the energy in form of electric, so that the, the loss is less actually. 
And we also have fuel cells in the market which generates electric power from hydrogen. You give hydrogen as the input, it will give you electric power as output. So if you can somehow uh, focus on the transportation and storage of the hydrogen um, energy, in that case we can uh, have a better fuel in future. And that's what the whole hydrogen economy is all about. So that is expected that in future we'll have economically viable and safe source of hydrogen. In future, still now it's under progress, it is not yet done. We'll take one example. So, what do you understand with the term hydrogen economy? Hydrogen economy is nothing but H economy is nothing but usage of hydrogen as fuel. What is hydrogenation? Hydrogenation is nothing but addition of H2 to uh, unsaturated uh, hydrocarbons to give saturated hydrocarbons, right? So example, we have wedge oil, we add hydrogen to it, it gives vanaspati ghee. The next is syngas, syngas is nothing but synthesis gas, right? This is CO plus H2, this is my synthesis gas. So it is um, you know, also called resin gas. It is formed by various method using coal, using uh, sewage and uh, those kind of stuff. And if it is produced from coal, the process is called coal gasification. What is water shift reaction? Water shift reaction is nothing but you have, let me write water shift reaction first. So you have syngas. From syngas, you oxidize uh, with steam, with steam, in presence of iron chromate to give hydrogen, right? So you get more and more hydrogen by doing this. So this we get carbon dioxide also and 673. This is the water shift reaction. You have seen gas, you make more hydrogen out of this. What is fuel cell? Fuel cell is nothing but you have to convert energy to electric energy energy combustion energy actually energy from combustion to electric energy or chemical energy to electric energy is called fuel cell thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos try free online tests get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more thanks once again